ओम शांति टुडे इज सत गुरुवार द फर्स्ट ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू लेटस लिसन टू द साकार मुरली दिस मॉर्निंग फ्रॉम आर बिलविड बाप दादा बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन द योगेश्वर और द गॉड ऑफ योगा द फादर हैज कम टू टीच यू राज योग इट इज ओनली बाई स्टडिंग दिस योग that you will become conquerors of sin and then become world emperors and empresses in the future what does baba say in essence on this thursday morning baba says sweet children the yogeshwar the father has come to teach you raj yoga it is only by studying this yoga that you will become conquerors of sin and then become world emperors and empresses in the future Today we have two questions. The first question: What promise must you remember in order to be saved from sin? Baba says, "Mine is one Shiv Baba and none other. Have true spiritual love for the one Father. If you remember this promise, you won't perform sinful actions. Maya makes you body conscious and makes you perform wrong actions. Baba is the master." remember him and battle with full force against maya and you won't be defeated in the second question baba asks what hope does the father have in his children in answer baba says just as a physical father wants to give his children a high education in the same way the unlimited father says i want to make my children into angels of heaven if you children just follow my shrimat you can become elevated today's song is i have come having awakened my fortune om shanti you sweetest children know that you have come here to make your new fortune to whom to yogeshwar to god who teaches you this is called raj yog baba is asking us to whom have we come and he says in reply to yogeshwar to god who teaches you This is called Raj Yoga. God is teaching yoga. Which yoga? There are many types of hatha yoga. This is not a physical yoga. Sanyasis have yoga with the elements and with Brahma. God doesn't teach them yoga. You children know that the supreme father, the supreme soul is once again teaching you Raj Yoga as he did in the previous cycle. Sanyasis would never say that they taught this yoga in the previous cycle and that they are now teaching it once again you children can say this those hat yogis cannot teach raj yoga it is shiv baba who teaches us and he is also called the yogeshwar people call krishna the yogeshwar by mistake krishna is the prince of the golden age there is no question of yoga there this is a very good point learn the art of explaining to others you have to explain tactfully everything for you depends on yoga the more you stay in yoga the more you will become conquerors of sin the ancient yoga of bharat is remembered very much no one apart from the supreme father the supreme soul can teach this rajyog that is why his name is yogeshwar it is only god who teaches raj yoga for what does he teach raj yoga does he give the sovereignty of bharat baba asks no it is not a question of bharat alone i teach you children raj yoga in order to make you into the masters of the whole world so why does baba teach us raj yoga baba teaches us raj yoga in order to make us into the masters of the whole world he says this aim and objective is clear although someone may rule over a piece of land and not over the whole world it would be said that he is a master of the world you children know that you have come having created your fortune for the new world the whole world is to become new bharat is the capital in your new world too delhi will be the capital that is remembered as the land of angels you are the angels of knowledge you take a dip in the ocean of knowledge and change from human beings into angels of heaven this 
is the Mansarovar, that is the lake that changes human beings into angels. It is said that by bathing in it, human beings become angels. You have come here to become angels of heaven. Baba says, you are receiving your sovereignty. You will have a lot of jewellery. You say that you are studying Raj Yoga through which you will become emperors and empresses in the future. However, you will only become that if you follow Srimat well. Don't think that those who become subjects will also be called angels. No, you have to imbibe divine virtues by following Srimat. A physical father is attached to his children and so he wants his children to have a higher education. This father also says, I will make you into the angels of heaven. To the extent that you follow Srimat, so you will accordingly become elevated. There is no difficulty. The wealthy don't have time to listen to this. Only the poor have time. No one else has as much time as you do. Those people who have a lot of concerns are unable to have yoga. Today, Baba asked a child, Do you know whose chariot you are serving? Someone who looks after horses would be aware of the horse of which master he is looking after. You also know whose chariot this is. If you serve this chariot while remembering Shiv Baba, you can claim a status higher than that of many others. This one is just the chariot, meaning Brahma Baba. But you have to remember Shiv Baba. Even if you remember this much, your boat can go across. From where is Baba teaching you Raj Yoga? For the future new world. For where is Baba teaching you Raj Yoga? For the future new world. He teaches it at the confluence age. How could Krishna teach Raj Yoga? He was in the golden age kingdom. But who established that kingdom? The father. Who made the ancient deities become that? Who taught them Raj Yoga? Those people mentioned Krishna's name. The father says, I teach you children at this time. You have come having awakened your fortune in order to claim a high status in the future new world. The father says, remember me and become the masters of the pure world. There is no other way. On the one hand, they remember the purifier and ask him to come. On the other hand, they say that the rivers are the purifier. This is such a big mistake. So, Baba points out this mistake. So, what does Baba say? On the one hand, they say that the rivers are the purifiers. And on the other hand, they remember the purifier and ask him to come. So, this is such a big mistake. It is a small thing, but you have to open the eyes of human beings. When the father comes, he explains that he is the purifier. I bathe you in knowledge and purify you. This is an impure world. Sannyasis teach many types of yoga. However, I am the only one who can teach you Raj Yoga. Only the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul Himself is called the Purifier. You should remember Him so much. You also need good manners. We are becoming 16 celestial degrees full. Your food and drink should be pure. Some imbibe this quickly. Liberation in life in a second is remembered. There wouldn't have been just one Janak. An example is given of just one. There wouldn't have been just one Draupadi either. God maintains the honor of everyone. He saves both men and women from becoming impure. They have written Krishna's name in the Gita. Whatever you children do at this time, that becomes a memorial on the path of devotion. Baba says, the Shiv Baba temple is so big, the names of those who do service are glorified. The Dilwala temple is your accurate memorial. Down below you are doing tapasya and up above there are images of the kingdom. You are now having yoga with the father in order to become the masters of heaven. You also remember heaven. When a person dies, people say that he has gone to heaven. However, 
no one knows where heaven is they believe that bharat was heaven and then they say that it is up above the father explains liberation in life in a second is remembered even then they speak of the ocean of knowledge even if you make the trees of a forest into pens and the ocean into ink this knowledge will not finish it will continue till the end therefore you have to make effort baba says it is right to say that it just takes a second when you know the father the inheritance from him is liberation in life together with that how the cycle turns and how the religions are established is also explained to you so many things have to be explained together with that remember the father and also remember your inheritance you remember those and you also have the faith that you are claiming the sovereignty of the world so why do you then forget it baba is asking therefore baba says the more you remember me the more your sins will be absolved this is why it takes time until you reach your karmatit stage when you reach your karmatit stage you won't be able to stay here any longer baba has been explaining to you children for years it is a very simple matter alpha and beta baba also tells you the secrets of the cycle when you have all the secrets in your intellects you also have to explain them to others you have the whole tree in your intellects you have to claim the easiest inheritance from the father some say baba i am unable to have yog maya makes me commit sin the father explains children if you commit sin you will have to make a lot of effort maya makes you body conscious and makes you perform wrong actions the father says children after belonging to me don't perform any sinful actions you promised that you would belong to one shiv baba and none other when a kumari gets engaged she has so much love for her husband to be therefore you should have so much love for the unlimited father your love is so incognito that is physical whereas this is spiritual they have developed that practice here you repeatedly forget because this is something new you have to consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father you are godly helpers you are spiritual servers you are standing in the battlefield baba the master is also standing with you he says fight maya with full force so that these five vices don't interfere some right baba an evil spirit came baba says continue to chase away those evil spirits they will continue to come till the end and they will bring very powerful storms storms that you never had on the path of ignorance will also come you would say that you were in the stage of retirement and never had such thoughts but that after coming into knowledge there was the intoxication of lust you also have such dreams what is this this is a wonderful knowledge some become confused and leave baba tells you that many storms will come the stronger you become the more maya will make you fall and this is why you have to become mahavirs and stable stay in remembrance of baba you mustn't put those thoughts into practice by putting them into practice you commit sin you have to make a lot of effort and remove any bad habits the eternal surgeon knows that this baba the eternal surgeon knows and this baba also knows that there are many types of obstacles from maya baba says here too you have to become very pure what does baba say the eternal surgeon knows and this baba also knows that there are many types of obstacles from maya here you have to become very pure if you want to become part of the sun dynasty you have to become worthy this is raj yoga yoga to become kings not yoga to become subjects therefore make effort and claim the kingdom you can go anywhere tactfully in an incognito way say to them tell us whom we should remember 
so that we can be liberated from sorrow. People speak of the ancient yoga of Bharat. But what is that? Can you teach us Raj Yoga so that we can become kings? You should ask them such things and bring them into knowledge. Show such bravery that their intellects become receptive to just one thing. You have to become those who are diplomatic. That is why Baba asks, have you become serviceable enough? You have to be very cautious. At this time, the world is very dirty. There is a story about this. What is this story? There is the story of how Kichak, one with an impure vision, chased Draupadi. This is why Baba says that you have to be very cautious. The main thing is Raj Yoga. Explain to anyone who comes that it was the father who taught Raj Yoga and yet the name of the child was mentioned. Secondly, also prove that Krishna is not God at all. The God of the Gita is Shiva from whom we receive the inheritance of heaven. You need wise methods to explain this. Your service is spiritual, whereas those social workers do physical service. That is worldly society and this is a spiritual society. You spirits are given an injection and this is why it is said, when the Sadguru gives you the ointment of knowledge, the lights of souls are now extinguished. When a person dies, people light a lamp. They believe that the soul would otherwise be in darkness. There is truly unlimited darkness. Baba says there truly is unlimited darkness. There hasn't been any oil poured into souls for half a cycle. The lights of souls have become extinguished. Now, by the oil of knowledge being poured in, there is light. The father now tells you children, constantly remember me alone. Krishna cannot say this. We souls are brothers. We are claiming our inheritance from the Father. It is good to write a chart of how long you stay in remembrance of Baba. By your practicing this, that stage will then become firm. This method is good. Also continue to do service. Keep your chart and you will continue to make progress. Acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say namaste to our spiritual father today's essence for dharna has two points first point be very careful that no evil spirit enters you never become confused by storms of maya remove any bad habits Second point, keep your chart of remembrance. Baba says, together with that, become a spiritual server and give souls an injection of knowledge. Today's blessing, may you be a carefree emperor who is constantly seated on the heart throne while carrying out any task. The blessing once again, may you be a carefree emperor who is constantly seated on the heart throne while carrying out any task. Baba explains, those who are constantly seated on Bab Dada's heart throne become carefree emperors because the speciality of this throne is that those who are seated on it will have no worries about anything. Nowadays, some places have especially been given some newness or speciality and the speciality of being seated on this throne is that no worries can come to you. The heart throne is blessed and so you should be constantly seated on the heart throne whenever you carry out your task. Finally, slogan for today. In order to claim a number ahead along with love and cooperation also imbibe the form of power. Slogan once again on this Satguruvar. In order to claim a number ahead along with love and cooperation also imbibe the form of power. Acha Om Shanti.